hello there and welcome to today's video so i am so so excited for today's video because i actually got invited to an antique mall event i actually got personally invited by one of the vendors he knows that i am a reseller so from reseller to reseller he was like you have to come this weekend it's 20 percent off everything we're here at antique mall treasure hunt which you guys know is one of my absolute favorites um there are definitely some pieces that i have left behind and i cannot wait to go in and grab them today so let's head in and see what we can find this is future marina Letting you know that my daughter is in this video and she calls me a lot. She's yelling at me a lot. I try my best to edit out as much as I can, but I want you guys to see as much footage as um, I filmed. So sorry for the noise. Sorry for the craziness. There was a lot of people. There was a lot of music, but it's a fun video. So I hope you enjoy and I will see you at the very end for the haul. So stay tuned all the way to the end. Of course, I want to do a little bit more shopping than what I came here for. This is only a dollar. I wish he was wood, but he's resin. But just look at that face. And then here's another one right here. There are a lot of people here and the music is a little loud, but I am determined to talk in this video. So let's go. Oh, this is pretty. Red painted candlestick with flower, also one dollar. Mm, I might have to consider that. He's cool. He's only twelve dollars. Very smooth, polished bottom, and has like this um, cloudy stuff going down his back. I don't know. I've never seen a rat before. It's only twelve dollars. Oh. Highly consider that one, but what brought I'm just gonna set him down here. Um, this little guy is what caught my eye. I thought it was a cat, he's super, super cute. Again, I'll consider it. I'm gonna try to get through the mall and pick up the things that I came here for. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted one of these. Oh my gosh, they are so expensive. <gasps> They have all of them in there. Okay, this is ten dollars. I'm grabbing this. I'm so glad I saw that. Okay, that I'm definitely grabbing. What is this? West Germany, I figured. But I'm looking more of, of the like colorful West Germany pieces. I really hope y'all are able to hear me. I'm trying my best to talk into my microphone. Um, okay, I'm really really excited about this. Um, I'm not seeing anything else. I'll, I'll try to look up that mouse. My daughter has my phone at the moment. Um, and then we can always come back for him. That's pretty too. Oh, look at that. Um, yeah, that's pretty too. Anyways, okay, I'll try to come back for those too. Okay, that's one of my favorite boots. So let me see what I've left here in the past. To see if I'll pick it up. Um, this is new in here. Sorry, you can't even see it. Let me get it down. This is new and I like that. It's very in right now. It is really busy in here. Uh, made in Taiwan, which still could be vintage. 25 and 20% off. Mm, I don't know. I will put it back up. I just need to keep scanning. And then there is that um, Talavera cat up there. But I just, I don't know. Yes. I have my daughter with me, if you couldn't hear already. Um, okay, I don't think I'm, oh, let me see those. This is new too. 35, yeah. Okay, I don't think I can get anything from in here today. 
Is this left in? No. Okay. I'm still trying to make it to the pieces that I'm here for. Um, hopefully they're still here at this point. So let's go. I'm going to put this back. Okay. I'm approaching and I see it. We're definitely going to grab it. I'm not even going to think about it. This beautiful jack in the pulpit. It's $45 and 20% off. Oh, those are pretty. How much are those? $4.85 each. No, thank you. Okay, there are two more pieces in this glass booth, which I mean, it's full of glass in here. And up there. Um, so there's this hand-painted Victorian milk glass for 28 and 20% 20 off. And then there is this stretch glass for 28. Um, I just, I don't like the seam, so I don't think it's that old. And that bubble right there, I don't know, it's beautiful. So I don't know. I'm not sure even about this one. It is Victorian. And it looks like a tree trunk, but I couldn't find anything like when I looked it up. So I don't know. I guess I'll let you guys know at the end for the haul if I got it or not. I love the potter in here. I'm not gonna buy any of it, but I'm just gonna pan around and show you some of it. Wow, this is very interesting. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you some of it really quickly because of the music as well. Look how pretty this is. Italy, really pretty. I already passed, that's the third Italian piece I'm passing on. Y'all would be so proud of me. Anyways, yeah, just really pretty pottery. Again, we're just gonna do a quick pan around. It's so loud, the music is so loud. Love lights of the world. It's a contemporary piece. Just look how cool this booth is curated. Really cute. Like, super, super cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. 25. I love these little clowns. They're so cute. This Lufton. I know some of these Luftons are going for like ridiculous money right now. Yeah, super cute in here. My word, look how cute this is. I love little cute, and it's, it's done so well it looks like it's supposed to be like that, even though we know it's a recycled cinnamon can. So cute. Yeah, I love this booth. They definitely, that's pretty. I just don't I just don't do a lot with cross stitch. I do better with um, cruel pieces. This one is pretty though. I'm just seeing this. Really pretty and it's signed. Anyways, in the baker as well. I can spend a really long time in here. Okay, we're going into another favorite now. And I am coming for a few pieces in here. Six dollars. That's cute. I'm gonna get that for my weird wooden collection. Um, I love these, but I don't need them. Um, okay, I can't remember. I'm right here. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's right next to you. Okay, so I was coming for this. Is this a chip? This is smooth. These are a little bit chippy right here. I just don't know. I don't know what's keeping me from buying this Murano piece. Um, there is even a Murano reseller on eBay that I follow and I sent him a message and said, is this Murano? And he said, yes. Um, and I just, I don't know what's keeping me from buying it. It's not in perfect condition. I don't know, 35. Ugh, ugh. I don't know. 
Something is just keeping me from buying that piece. I just, I don't know. And then over here, this check piece. Actually, yeah, it is signed. $12. There is, there is major chipping on the rim on this one. But see, that's one that I want to rescue. So I think I'm going to pick that one up for 20% off. And I just saw this with the gold in it. Uh, Taiwan. Okay, I don't think... I mean, this is definitely Murano. 25. That's pretty. 25 and 20% off. Let me see this one. I don't know what that sticker is, but it doesn't look like Murano. Do I want to grab this one? I like the shape of it. But again, I don't know why I'm not feeling it. So I'm going to leave those behind. And I'm going to pick up these two from here. I love this one so much, but it doesn't have a stopper. Does that matter? I can never find in pulley glasses. This one says 1970. It's very lightweight. Uh, I don't know. I have to think about it. I mean, even at 20, I think I could get that when it's not 20% off. Um, there was something else I was looking at over here. I'm trying to do this loudly and quickly because of the music. What was I looking at over here? Oh, the cat. Yes. This cat is really cool. 25 and 20% off. Oh, here it is signed. Yes. Universal something 1961. I think I might pick that up. So I saw this before going into that booth, my favorite booth. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's only $12, but I'm not feeling it. Would you guys have picked this up? Let me know. I love what I'm seeing in here. This egg separator. These candlesticks. Pottery candlesticks. Um, I love this. Japan. Trivet or trinket for five dollars Mexican wood it says. That's really pretty. Mama. I'm gonna get that. Oh, bye. Oh. And then there's this candle, but it's one. This pottery Mommy. looks like can uh, Campbell a little bit, but it's five. Mommy. Yeah. These are Taiwan. I've picked these up before, but they're contemporary. And I love the shape of this. It is signed, but I don't recognize it. It's 10. Really cool. And then there's also this bell, but bells don't really do well for me. Looks Italy, but it's not signed. Another bowl that looks like Bill Crambaugh. This is George Briard. I'm going to look this up really fast. Okay, this is the last booth that we're going to visit. My, my daughter is done. <laughs> she keeps telling me, car, car. So, um, I'm just going to take a quick sweep in here. Just really quickly to see what they have. These are so cute. These salt and pepper shakers for 18. What is this cat for 15? This cat planter. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that cat planter. Um, I'm actually 
going to leave the gold cat that you guys saw me pick up. Um, I am going to leave that one behind. The prices are just all over the place and I don't want to take a chance. This is really cute. I can never pick these up. 15 and she's a little planter. I'm going to do that one as well. And then the last piece. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I bet you this is Italy. Yeah, it is. That's so Mommy. pretty for 25 Mommy. But I have so many and they're not selling. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. That's my life. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. Okay, one second, please. Okay, I was going to pick this Limoges up, but I feel like it's reproduction. So at 15 I can pick it up any time. I'm actually coming for the Italy Dotson. And I did look him up. And I think I can... Oh, he is marked. I should have seen that. Um, if this is still 20% off because it says firm, I'm going to pick him up today. And I think that's everything. So I will get back to you in the car with my little... Oh, I did want to see this Murano 55 firm. Okay, so we'll see what the firms are and then I will get back to you in the car with everything. Hello there, we're back home. Same outfit, different hair, different day. Um, it's actually the day after the sale and I completely just didn't do an outro. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna do a haul anyway. So here we are. I wanna show you the haul. I wanna just um, talk to you a little bit more. I hope you enjoyed the fact that I was actually talking in the video. So I'm not gonna talk as much here. Um, and we're just gonna do kind of a quick review over what I got. And I think there's only one thing that you saw me that you did not see me pick up so i'm going to show you that as well so here are the things that i picked up at this amazing um anniversary sale okay so i'm just going to start with the best first i actually went back and got this dog so you guys have seen me feature this dog in um a previous video and then also in mini shorts so this is an italy um uh Dotson dog and I actually looked him up before I went to the sale because I kind of figured that he would still be there um, And he is JW company. So he sells anywhere between um, $50 and $90. So I'm pretty happy with that even though um, I paid around 31 I think which is the highest I've ever paid for an Italian piece that I'm reselling, but I'm really happy because I just, I really wanted to have him. So that's that piece. Then these next two pieces, um, you guys saw me pick this up. It's this globe. It does say made in China, um, which I know it is reproduction, but I've just been wanting one of these for so many years that I was just so excited to see it um, for so cheap. So it is this globe. It's like a nesting doll, but it is a globe that has all of these hand-painted um, people from all around the world. My sister actually has one of these that is actually vintage, um, and it's pretty old. Um, so I've always wanted one. Um, even though it's China, I'm really glad that I found it. And if I ever find an older one or a better one, then I can always upgrade. You guys know me. I'm always selling my things and moving on. Um, this next piece is also for me. I believe it is Russian. Um, it doesn't have a sticker or anything, but I'm pretty sure. Um, you guys know I like these little wood toys. So that little woodpecker is for me. And I can't wait to show that to my husband because we're both kids when it comes to stuff like that. Um, this was another piece that I specifically went for. Um, you guys have also seen me feature this in several videos and in several shorts. Um, I've been dying to get this Jack in the Pulpit. Just absolutely beautiful. It has like this speckled, um, glass. It is very old. I'm thinking it's Victorian era. I want to say it's Fostoria, but I'm not sure, um, because of the opalescence that are that's on the edge but again i'm not really sure if fostoria did um did uh jack in the pulpit i know they do a lot of the pulled glass um so i still have some re research to do but for what i paid for it it was 45 dollars and 20 percent off um 
I can definitely do very, very well on this piece. Um, so I'm so happy that I finally own that. And then same booth. Oh, no, sorry. You guys saw me go to that Murano ashtray and I just, I just couldn't pick it up. But I decided to get this Czechoslovakia piece. Um, I've had several um, Tango glass from Czechoslovakia. Um, so Tango, Tango glass is the bright colored glass that has this black accent. Um, that's Tango glass by Czechoslovakia. This one is incised on the bottom with Czechoslovakia right here. But you're not going to... Oh, maybe you can see it right there. Anyways, um, it does have a lot of chipping on the edge right there. But... I paid less than $10 for it, and this is an $80 piece. So um, somebody's going to want it. Somebody's going to turn it around and is not going to care, and I finally own it after so many times of going and passing on it. Um, then this was out of a booth that I had never seen before, or they revamped it or something for the sale. It was a mid-century booth. Um, on the tag, it said Mexico spoon rest, but I don't know how they got Mexico. I guess, I don't know. Um, to me, it looks like an Inuit style, like Canadian, Canadian Inuit style. Um, but again, I still need to do my research. It was only $5 and 20% off. So, uh, $4, I definitely had to pick it up for that. Um, especially since I've been selling a lot of that those Inuit pieces to Canada recently. So um, I decided to add him last minute. And then this is the piece that you guys did not see me pick up. This is the coolest thing. At first I was like, okay, I love this texture. There, It's like a plastic, I guess. Um, but then on it, which I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up, it says made in West Germany, which is like, I was expecting China, Japan. Um, I knew they were vintage, but I, like Hong Kong or Taiwan, like I expected it to be something like that. They are definitely missing a stone from the middle, but the fact that they're both missing a stone um, means that I could either put a faux diamond in there or I can put a faux pearl in there. I definitely have beads that I can um, stick in there. Um, I like converting these because the clip-ons really hurt my ears, but the fact that this clip-on says made in West Germany is going to make me just stop and look these up. If they are significant, like they're like actually something, um, I'll either keep them and try to do the clip-on thing or I'll just resell them. So really, really cool. Never saw those before. And by the way, they were only $2 and 20% off. So I definitely had to pick those up and figure it out later kind of thing. Then these were out of the same booth as the um, Italian dog. And I can never like, I can never buy one thing, let alone three things out of that booth. She just has amazing things, but they're always like right on the cusp of resale. Um, and even at 20%, like $30 for that dog, it's a lot of money, but these were actually really well priced, only $10 each. Um, he was just so cool. He's a little bit more contemporary, I think, um, than, than like the forties or something. Cause I was expecting for this to have a made in Japan sticker. And if that was the case, it was going to, I was going to date it to 1940, but the base looks too white to me, so I think it's more contemporary, maybe, maybe 80s. Um, and because there is crazing, so it is still vintage, but it's not as vintage as I thought. I just loved the face. I loved the fact that it was like one eye open, the other eye closed because he's itching, only one side of whiskers. Like, I thought that was so cool. You guys know I'm not into figurines, I don't really like figurines, I really don't see what the purpose of them are. But the fact that this was a planter, I was like, oh my gosh, this is check, check, check. Um, it's a cat. It's the coolest design on the face. It's a planter. So for $8, I was like, I have to pick that up. And then this is that Otigiri um, uh, Japanese pottery. This is actually um, copying German pottery. 
Um, the German pieces, forget it. You can't buy them right now because they are so popular. But actually, the Japanese pieces are just as popular. So the fact that this was $10, 20% off, so I only paid eight, that it was like a little planter like or toothpick holder. Like you can put toothpicks, you could put um, Q-tips, you could put brushes, like makeup brushes, you can put paint brushes, like the fact that you can actually use it. And she's so cute and it's a really nice big piece and it still has its original sticker. So again, I'm probably dating this to the 1940s with that sticker. Um, really, really cool. I'm so happy that I picked up those two pieces from that same booth. I'm glad that I didn't just say, oh, I can never find anything um, at her booth, so just forget it. But anyways so that's what i picked up at the sale um again that was just so cool and it was just so much fun they had like hamburgers and barbecue grilling and they had like a snack station in the back with water and fruit and cake and chips and um it was so much fun i i i had so much fun i'm so glad i went and i'm so happy that i was able to take you guys along with me for that so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed my mini haul please look forward to seeing these items they should already be up on my ebay if you can't find any of the items and you're interested please send me an email that is in the description box below um check out my ebay the ebay link my ebay link is in the description box box below as well. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.